How's it going, dudes? And welcome to Murray's room. Yeah, it wasn't clear already. I did see some other YouTubers play this, but I did see this on Steam before that, and I actually didn't want to try it. I was just busy with Celeste, so I couldn't do it back then. So anyways, let's just start the game. I didn't want to come back. Why would I, after all that's happened, even in here? So, where is the journal? Oh, this is a lot different than earlier. Oh, I have to hold it. What, more than a hundred again today? Glad I don't have to deal with that anymore. Also, since this game doesn't have save games, if it is split up in two, there's probably not going to be an intro to the second video, so... Just, just a little heads up. Don't need to go in there. That's the bathroom. Good to know. Maybe go in there a little later. <laughs> California crisp white wines. Mm. I'll need a crate of those when I get out of here. <laughs> uh. No, that's her parents' room. Wait, who's her? Who's to her? Look, Mr. Torres. I'm happy he finally got remarried. A honeymoon in the Bahamas. Wish I was there with them. Hmm. Is that me? Oh my god, the hair. What was I thinking? This is actually really cool. Can I turn the light on? No, I can't. Cookie floors. Oh, uh, that's Marie's journal. Bumblebee is a cat. Oh. Of course I knew it was her. Who else? There was uh, only one thing to do. Get Jesse to Jackson. Marie. Jackson. Okay. This is all being very touching. Uh, map? She wouldn't talk to me on the phone, so what else could I do? I drove all the way up there to Vancouver, freezing my ass off in that tin can of a car. Uh, music, so... Oh, that's just a hook. Alright, let's get to that journal. Hi, Kelsey. Yes, I'm talking to you. I know you've been reading my journal. Can I ever forgive you for what you did? Honestly, I don't know. I'm trying really hard, but I don't know how. Because I don't understand any of it. You are my friend, and I loved you unconditionally. I did what I did because of you, and I stood up to him because of you. But you, I don't know. Right now, I can't be near you, so I don't want you to come find me. I promise I'll be all right. Marie. Except she wouldn't be. She would not be all right. Whoa, what is happening now? Wait, am I... No, I think I'm still Kelsey. That's Trevor's phone number. He called her. I know he blamed her for everything. But she should have blamed him for what he did to her and Mr. Torres. Oh my god, it's a cheeseburger phone. I couldn't afford a car, and Marie didn't want one, so we rode our bikes everywhere. I thought I looked silly, and with those damn sparkly shoes, I probably did. Yeah, I was losing my glamour status at school right there. 
Anybody else see this, this thing coming from the journal? There's a TV. TV? Oh, as I'm exploring, it takes the journal. I've seen this man. <laughs> yeah, I've seen him. I I don't know who that I didn't see who that was. Hated that thing. Chemistry holds no surprises. Love that. <laughs> oh, this little kitty in a whirlpool. Was that just? I think that was the whiteboard. Ah, uh, yes, the science project. Of all people, they chose to pair me with the girl from Food Rescue. Outrageous. But I got over it, and chose to work my ass off. I had to if I wanted to get that scholarship. Ooh. Trevor was never far off, though. When Marie and I rode our bikes through dark nights just to get a taste of those perfect oranges, I knew he was lurking in the shadows. I never told her, but I think that's how he found us. He followed us back to the room. Trevor sounds like a stalker. Mr. Torres. Thick as thieves, those two. Ever since Lorraine died, they only had each other. Marie was suffering when he was in intensive care. That was a nasty knife wound. I can only imagine. Is that an Amazon box? Seriously, that's an Amazon box. Oh, that is a. Is that a waste bin? By the way, it's cute. Anything else? The music stopped. Sometimes it got so hot, this thing wasn't doing it anymore. Then we'd take off to Mr. Jones's swimming pool. That night, I guess he must have seen us. That didn't seem good. That doesn't seem good. Did, did that do anything? La La Land. That movie was a shit piece of crap. <laughs> Glad Trevor snuck us in. I don't think I could have handled wasting 20 bucks on that. Never thought I'd see Marie there. Then again, she always was a dreamer. I bet she loved it. She never realized I didn't want to be her friend in public. There's a QR code on the back. You know what? I might scan that. I might not. I don't know. Unless one of you guys want to tell me what it leads to in the comments. Oh, something got updated. Lorraine, Marie's mom, died when she was five. My mother, she might as well have been dead. She looked more dead than alive, anyhow. Passed out That's on the couch, cool. empty bottles of gin on the floor. That's so cute. The journal keeps getting updated. Trevor. What an asshole. After we broke up, he got violent sometimes. One day, he dragged me through the school hall by my shirt until one of Marie's geek friends stopped him. Ben, I think it was. He got a lot of shit for it later. Poor Ben. Marie always dreamed about going to Europe. I don't think she ever went. Hmm. That's too bad. I mean, not that I have any room to say anything. There we go. I wore those a lot. Not to protect my eyes, but to hide them. I didn't want anyone to know. Mr. Torres loved that beer. After the robbery, he only had a couple left. Apparently they were hard to come by. Still, we decided to try a bottle once. Marie loved that label. She drew it in her journal. I remember that. All that happened later that night, I'm not sure. Maybe I don't want to remember. Hmm. Maybe it might not have been a good thing. Anything else? Before I go back to the journal? Oh. Mr. Torres and Marie were robbed in their own house. Not long after we met at Food Rescue. 
Oh. Maybe was stabbed. Almost died. She was knocked out with a baseball bat. She was in the hospital for a while. Stitches, concussion. She still had headaches, she said. That, that sucks. Marie insisted on saving these. She was going to make a new world with them. Whatever that was supposed to be. I've never actually seen her build anything. Hmm. He had money. You see? He bought me things. I was going to wear these to the prom. Fancy, right? At the time, I didn't know where the money came from. Oh, that was true. That was, um... Her... I... I know she said it a little while ago, but I can't remember the name. His name. She asked me why I was so angry all the time. And I told her because... It's a dirty deal. It's Russian roulette and utterly unfair. The cards had been dealt. Any player would have passed. I chose to be angry instead. But Marie? My friend Marie. She got me a new deck. And suggested I deal again. Hmm. Give me a second because I just realized how loud this is. Or at least for me. You guys probably can't hear how loud it is. Tell how loud it is. Okay, let's check that journal. Hmm. Last hope. No voice acting? November 21st. 2017. OMG. They put me... On Kelsey's team, my heart races whenever I stop thinking about it. Don't think she's all that. The the. Don't think she's all that pleased. I wonder whether she remembers me from Food Rescue. God, I hope not. I feel so connected to her. Isn't that weird? I love for us to be friends. She's just amazing. I can't wait to start working on, on our science project. Did you get that? Our project. I feel like I'm going to explode from excitement. Nick. Oh, th am I missing stuff? Yeah, I think I'm missing stuff. Let me go back real quick. Yeah, right here. She hated my cigarettes. Every time I felt like going out and buying a pack. She made me put the money in that money jar. One day, that money would pay for our gas to drive to college. We only needed money for the one way. I ended up using it to get to Vancouver. Nope. Every Tuesday, the food trucks would roll in. Me and Marie never missed Jorge's tamales. When I was a kid, Jorge would put some aside, just in case my mom was too drunk to feed me again. Oh. That's sad. Anything else? I feel like there's stuff missing. I loved skinny dipping. But Marie insisted on wearing this thing. Really, I mean, it was Mr. Jones's pool. After dark, no one would ever come close to the freak. And he wasn't there, just to be clear. But someone else was. Oh. She loved being a birthday girl. Mr. Torres would take her shopping every year. Nothing there? Okay. Uh, okay, I don't see anything else. Maybe I'm not missing a sheet of paper. That's Marie's birthday. That's weird. I guess she wrote it down for that Ben guy. For her pizza and movie party. Alright, I might have been a little jealous. <laughs> Wait, was there any on the back of this? That's Marie's birthday. That's. Hmm. No, we already looked at the TV. What about the record up here? This darn squeaky f floor. Oh, there's a t shirt. There's no such thing as food waste. 
And don't I know it. The smell of garbage will be in my nose forever, and the taste of it in my mouth. I swore I would never be that hungry again. I didn't care what it took. That that sounds gross. I think that was yep, that's the last one. Food rescue. High school kid saves classmates from hunger. November 9th, 2017. After that school article, people kept asking me why I did it. As if I were some kind of hero. So stupid. And I keep telling them the same story. Aren't I sick of it yet? Maybe I should publish a book. My life story. So they'll stop bugging me. Out. Bugging me. Crazy people. Here for the last time. Last fall, I captured a kid stealing someone's lunch from a backpack. As he stuffed the sandwich in his mouth, our eyes locked. He panicked, dropped the food, and ran. I never realized some of my classmates were actually hungry. So I joined Food Rescue to help. To help. There, the end. Everyone's satisfied. Okay, it's one of two. Why am I still missing one? I feel like I'm missing one right here. Give me a sec. Have you ever peeled an orange so juicy the drops erupted from underneath the skin like fireworks in the setting sun? The trees in Mr. Jones's garden had them. I used to live off his garden vegetables and fruit before I met Trevor. Oh, Trevor's his name. Disgusting, but cheap. I got used to them after I didn't want to go to the food kitchen anymore. The vicious taste of these meatballs still beat the humiliation of being served by Marie. Hmm. Oh, hey. That added more to it. There's gotta be some... Check doormat. I'm not a shadow person. <laughs> yeah. It took me all I had to convince her she wasn't. Hmm. Huh. And that added more? Mr. Torres gave me my own set of keys, so I'd feel at home. I loved him for it. But every time I used those keys, I felt a pang of guilt. Oh. This guy's suck. I don't see anything else. Check the, let's check the journal again. Wait, what? Oh, okay. So I did... So I did find the next part. December 4th, 2017. I screwed up, but... I was... War, uh, but I was worried. I'm still worried. And what else could I do? Kelsey has it been to food rescue in a while and I just wanted to make sure she wasn't hungry or something so I offered her my sandwich ah uh, why did I do that now we'll never be friends good one Marie really really well done she looked at me like I was crazy and walked out and now we're behind with the project too I hope we make the deadline December 22nd, 2002. Just stop. Why do you keep writing this? I know there isn't much news in Orange Grove, but it's been ages, not literally, but you know, they, they are never gonna find them. I wish everybody would just stop, leave us alone. So, I forgot, so I forget that whole god-awful night. Something my dad was a hero for trying to stop them. Truth is, we never saw them coming. When that 
guy jumped and stabbed my dad. Something snapped and I was and I would have punished him. Scratched his eyes out. I swear, I think I could have killed him, but the other one got me before I even knew where there were two. I never saw their faces, neither did my dad. So they never caught them. I'm not fearless. Oh, talking about that incident. Something s seems to be missing here, too. That might just be me. Nothing was different. January 5th, 2018. We're all just madder that that's what Kelsey keeps saying, and that's right, and she's right, but matter is also life, and life is something we need to take care of. She likes to be out on a limb. She says she's got nothing to lose. Bam! She didn't even realize what she was saying. Or maybe I'm too sensitive. Guess that'll show me. To believe that we are friends, I guess I am a shadow person after all. I think she's gonna break her neck by break her neck by the way. See if I care. Loving the chemistry. <laughs> Aww. Okay, so I have to find something in between there. Be right back. Again. I didn't like that she kept the stone. Why did she have to be reminded? I told her I was sorry, but she said it was for me to remind me. Hmm. Is that changing anything? Not in this page, anyways. I didn't notice the sticky note. She must have written it down here somewhere. Library. She must have written it down here somewhere. Oh. Oh yeah, I got it. Get a gif. <laughs> okay. One day, I just had to know, what's up with all the cats? She said she admired them, that they were who they were without any pretense, that they had no fear of confrontation. She wanted to be more like them. Also, if you're curious about what the password uh, was, it was Shadow Person. When Bumblebee went missing, Marie cried for days. She thought I couldn't hear her at night. I could never prove it, but I'm sure it was Trevor. Hmm. Marie, what were you thinking? You know that's illegal. She was looking at guns? What? Why does someone need to get hurt before we step up and act, for Christ's sake? If they had, none of this shit would have happened, and no one would have died. Wait, someone died? Oh no. Why didn't you tell me, Marie? No wonder you were so frightened. We never should have gone to the Orange Grove. And that's all I can do. And that added stuff to the thing, too. 
That creaky floorboard still freaks me out. I love cats because they are not af afraid to be difficult. Still missing a page? What? Obviously, it's gotta be around La La Land. Okay, that's... La La Land. Nope, nope. Oh, broken window. She was my friend, and I had to tell her. So I came back here, throwing stones at the window. But she didn't react, so I threw a bigger stone. And it shattered the glass. She kept the stone as a souvenir to remind her not to trust me ever again. That... Oh, wait, we already Lorraine? did that. Oh. Still missing a page. Alright, stop. That might be copyrighted. Even though I probably let it play earlier. Still looking. Stupid floorboard. Stop. I thought I was so lucky. An adoring boyfriend. Free burgers from the kitchen he worked in. Sparkly things he bought me. I thought if I took care of him, he'd take care of me. And we'd get out, just in case I didn't get that scholarship. I had no idea where the money came from. I think it would I think it would have been best that way. I think maybe that was it. Yeah, that was it. January twenty eighth, twenty eighteen. I'm trying to ignore the fact that all of Kelsey's cute stuff is paid for with Trevor's money. He is such a creep. I don't get what he what she sees in him. She says I'm jealous as if the thing is she thinks she needs him to get away from all of this, but she doesn't. She got away from her mom all on her own. Kelsey's the smartest, coolest, sweetest person you can imagine. She doesn't need anyone to get her to get her out. She can do do that all on her own. Too bad she doesn't believe that herself yet. February 14th, 2018. I'm so stupid. I finally got to see La La Land. They showed it on Classics Night at the theater. I went with Ben, loved it. Kelsey was there too. I was so happy to see her. I actually fr friggin I actually friggin hugged her and she pushed me away, asked me what I, I thought I was doing and that Trevor Ayol was enjoying the show. And her stupid cheerleader friends. I feel out of place. We're going to be friends. On February 14th, 2018. I feel out of place. Everywhere outside of this room. She said she was sorry. I know. But I feel like I'm walking on eggshells. And I... And that's not what a friendship should be like, right? I feel disconnected. She did not want to be my friend. She was embarrassed. Don't ever forget. February 16th, 2018. Okay, I've calmed down a bit. That la la night was with Trevor. And he is such a a hole. She's different when she's different when she's around him. Not that I, not that it makes it all right, but she did come straight over to tell me she was sorry. 
She knows she was wrong. Broke my window with that darn rock. She said if I'd answered the call of the pebbles, she wouldn't have thrown the rock. She's been here ever since. Doesn't doesn't have anywhere else to go, really, except for Trevor. I'm glad she'd rather sleep here. Right now, as I write this, she's on the bed going over some notes from class. I like having her here, and that's okay with it. March... Uh... Okay. March 17th, 2018. On those spark... Uh oh, those sparkly shoes. She wears them all the time. Last night, the heels dug into my calf. That freaking hurt. Have you seen those heels? So I yanked them off her, her feet and told her not not in the bed. She was amused. She can't... I can't think why. To be honest, I wish I was a size 9 because they look absolutely gorgeous on Kelsey's feet. At least, when I tried them on, I looked like a little girl trying on mommy's shoes. March 17th, 2018. You may have noticed, sweet, sweet journal, that there are less and less f words in this, in these pages. I'm so friggin' proud. Ha! Only when I go berserk, when, like when Kelsey threw that rock through my window, then. It's hard to keep up. Did you know that a little girl I used to curse... Oh, as a little girl, I used to curse abundantly, trying to extend my vocabulary here. Dad dot it in indicated intelligence and I guess I look cute up to a certain age, but he said mom hated it, so every time I used the F word, he made me put a piece of candy in the swear jar. Can't tell you how much that hurt every time, because I'd never see it again. I think he secretly ate it. He must have rejoiced. Yep, vocabulary extension again. Every time I swore, like a man, man, mad woman, must have. <laughs> she called me her friend today. I'm not a shadow person anymore. She's my friend. I feel like there's something missing down here, but I don't feel like checking, so on to the next one. Kelsey is so scary at the wor angry at the world, like all the time. It's kind of annoying, but I get, but I get it. We all have a different story to tell. So as a friend, I did the only decent thing. I told her she could do anything she wanted. She just had to make. It happened. Not wait for it. I told her to deal again. Not drugs. The car. <clears throat> Sorry. Kelsey broke up with Trevor. Finally. She can do so much better than that total loser. He assaulted her in the school hallway. Of course no one saw it happen, but he literally tore the clothes from her body. F! 
I promise not to swear. So here you go. There you go. But she's done with him now. Things can only get better. I think he's crazy. He keeps calling me at the most impossible hours just to yell at me. Calling me names, threatening me that if I don't let Kelsey go, he'll do this or that as if I've got her tied in here. Tied up in here. I know I unplugged the phone when I sleep. I oh, she said I now unplug the phone when I sleep. It's gonna take a while. Today I was Today was a good day. Only five emails from Trevor. Only five. I hope he's finally getting it. She's not coming back. He really holds me responsible for it. I can handle that. If it keeps him away from her. When I saw him in the hallway this morning, he slid his finger across his throat again. If he wasn't such a scary, such a scary a clown, I'd laugh. But he does scare me. I don't tell Kelsey these things. She shouldn't worry. These are good times that make me forget. All my troubles seem so far away. Wait a minute. Is that a song? Kelsey took me... Kelsey took me to night swimming at Mr. Jones's pool. I was scared... the first time, but, uh, two beers and freshly picked oranges. Sorry, it looked weird to me for some reason. Chill, best nights ever. It took me forever to convince Kelsey to ride a bike, cause it it ain't cool. Our rides are the best part of the day, and on this day we rode them through Mr. Jones's Orange Grove in broad daylight. We got home with a basket full of the juiciest golden oranges. I don't even think about getting caught. June 12, 2018. They're not listening. I've tried every authority at school. I even tried the cops, but they just patted my shoulder. Poor little girl, still traumatized. Bumped on the head, head didn't do her any good. Yes, I'm swearing now. A jar full of candy. What do I do? I wish I could tell Kelsey, but she'd go insane and get herself hurt or worse. Go back to him. Trevor is dangerous. I know it's him. And there's nothing I can do. They never believe me. I don't think they'll ever see... I don't... I'll ever see Bumblebee again. I can't sit and watch. I have to be fearless. I found this site where you can buy guns off anyone. Not that I mean to shoot anyone. It's just... I don't know what to do anymore. It's for protection, you know? Isn't that what they say? Anyway, there was a guy who wanted to sell me this totally new 9mm. I mean him out of town somewhere. A little shady, I admit, but with Trevor looking around, I'll take my chances. There's been another home invasion just two blocks from here. They killed the woman this time 
and the police think it's Trevor. Suppose it was him in our house. I, I can't wrap my head around it. It's too big. But Kelsey says it's true that Trevor is a bastard, but would never commit such violent acts. Look at the torn t-shirt. I think she might be in denial there. We needed this. Beer, water, and oranges. Like so many nights before Trevor. No, I am not going to let him spoil my night at the pool with Kelsey. He who shall not be named shall not be named. Not today. And back out. Doesn't look like anything transformed. But I am missing some stuff. Oh. She once asked me, Don't you ever dream, Kelsey? And I said, I don't. I don't dream. I plan. What I didn't tell her was that I wouldn't allow anyone to mess with those plans. Okay, then. Nope. I think it's just this case. I need to find the key. A five figure number. Maybe it's in here. I did it. I hope I'm not go going to regret this. Is that the lock? Oh. Food rescue. Yeah. It was a good place to be, until Marie showed up. I know she didn't mean anything by it, but the pity in her eyes. Worse than being hungry. Hey, something new showed up. It doesn't look like anything. Marie doesn't look like anything changed. Okay. I need to find the key. A five figure number. She must have written it down here somewhere. Oh! I think I see it now. Okay, three. The yeah, first number is three. What is the code, Marie? The first number was three. Um, the next one... Where is the next one? Four. What is the code, Marie? Wait. And then nine. What is the code, Marie? What's after that? Five and then one. What is the code, Marie? Wait. Yay! Yes. Good work, Kelsey. Oh my god. Oh. She got the gun. The past like the future, is indefinite and exists only as a spectrum of possibilities. Stephen Hawkins said that. I wish it were true. But there was nothing I could do about the past. It was definite as hell. Sometimes I didn't get Marie. I really thought a night by Jones's pool would help her relax. She used to love it there. But she insisted someone had been watching us. I just wanted to have a good time, and she was ruining it. So I said some things I shouldn't have. She just stood there, staring at the window. I was so annoyed. And that's when I knew she'd been right. Trevor. Right there in the room. He'd just come in through the open window. How did he find us? He didn't know where Marie and I lived. I always made sure of that. But he took an orange from his backpack and started peeling it. 
It had been Trevor by the pool, and he'd followed us home. He said to Marie, I told you not to mess with me, but still, I didn't get it. No, it wasn't until he started moving in on her that I realized it was Marie. He was after Marie. He blamed her for everything, and he had a knife. I'd never seen him so angry, so evil. Marie tried to get it away from him. He asked her why she never answered her phone. Did she not read her emails? Or did she think they were hollow threats? God, I just wanted to punch him with anything I could lay my hands on. My backpack. I smashed it against his wrist, knocking the knife out of his hands. Marie went for it, but Trevor was faster. He kicked her in the head. I dove for the knife, but he jumped me. As we struggled, he hissed. Didn't I get enough action yet? Maybe I needed another baseball bat to get my kicks. I stopped. Oh. Because right then I knew what he was up to. He asked Marie about Mr. Torres. Was he all right? Did he still get stomach aches? Marie lay on the floor by the bed, in shock, realizing it had been Trevor who almost killed her father. Then Trevor looked at me, added with a smile. And her. That's when it all went to pieces. Trevor ripped us apart, and he was enjoying it. Marie didn't understand. I tried to explain, apologized, but she wasn't listening. She kept asking me if I'd been there with Trevor in their house. Trevor stirred things up even more. He told her it was me who had hit her over the head with a baseball bat, that what? I'd enjoyed it. I screamed in frustration, no, that's not what happened. Tears streamed down Marie's face. She couldn't believe I would do that. Hurt her deliberately. God, I wanted Trevor to stop talking. I attacked him, scratched his face, hit him wherever I could. I hated him. He was twisting everything. I wanted to tell her that I was sorry. Yes, we robbed the house, and we got caught by Mr. Torres, but I never meant for anyone to get hurt. I didn't smash Marie's head. I panicked. I wanted to stop her from seeing me. When I realized how badly injured she was, I called the police. I tried to stay, but Trevor wouldn't let me. He pulled me by my hair into the van. But Marie wasn't listening. I was losing it, and I like to think I beat Trevor up pretty good. But Trevor punched back harder and faster. He was about to crack my skull. Marie clawed for the box beside her, opened it. She screamed, told us to stop, pointed that nine millimeter at us. Trevor went nuts, charged for her, she screamed, told him to stay back. She'd never shot a gun in her life. She wasn't going to start now. Trevor grabbed her by the shoulders and I Oh, Trevor just got shot. What do you think you remember is not necessarily what really happened, or how others remember it. But Trevor fell back on the carpet, dead. That we all remember. Is that... Yeah. Mom, where are you? Did you get the journal? I'll be down in a minute. Aunt Marie is getting a little worked up here. <laughs> she threatened to smoke a cigar. In your car. Don't let her. Don't let her smoke. I love that car. She knows you do. Get down here, Mom. You're taking, like, forever. I'll be down in a minute. Bring the journal. Oh, so they're still friends after all that. After all that at the end. I regret food rescue. I regret the science project. I regret it all. My father could have died because of me and my inability to make real friends. Kelsey never was who she was who she said she was. I never really knew her. I never turned it never turned out. It's all been lies and I am so stupid I should have realized that 
Lala then and walked away for good because someone died right in this room. I made him die. I pulled the trigger, made a bullet pierce his head, made his blood soak the carpet, dripped through the cracks into the floor where it, w it will remain forever to bear witness to what I'm capable of. I can't say, stay here. I am I the same same me? I don't know anymore. I have to fix this. Fix me. Away from her, I have to focus on the positives. My life and stop questioning myself. Why did she do it? Why did she why did I do it? Did I deserve this? Am I an evil person? A killer? I shot him in the head for Christ's sake. I could have gone for his leg. Dad calls them intrusive thoughts. I say they are the truth. I'm stronger than I look. I can do this. I will go up north. To Uncle George as dad suggested nice and cool up there I'll be able to think and finish high school I'm leaving this journal here because I need to a clean slate a fresh page I'm I'm sorry dear diary maybe I'll send for you someday when all is all of this is no long is long over and I dealt with being a murderer. It was self-defense. Any cop would accept that. Don't need to go in there. That's the bathroom. And we're out. I man, I was speed reading that. They were getting impatient out there. Oh, but still, that was that was good. Very. Touching. And on in all honesty, if I was if I was in Marie's shoes, I probably would have done the same thing. I mean, pulling the trigger is more of a from a guy just charging towards you, trying to and assaulting you. Pulling the trigger is more of a re, more of a survival instinct. More, more than anything. And I guess that'll be the end of Murray's room. Oh, I really like that. There needs to be more games like this. But anyways, dudes, if you enjoyed, hit that like button. And hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel. And get a friend to subscribe as well and help my channel grow. And if and hit that bell icon to stay up to date on when I upload. And comment down below and tell me what you guys thought. Sorry about the like rough beginning of the video. Had some things going on with my computer. But yeah, comment down below, tell me what you guys thought. How you, or how your day was, or maybe recommend a, a game that I should that you think I should try out. But with all that said, I like to thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video.